large size nucleus usually are unstable because the short range nuclear forces which tends to hold the nucleus together is unable to dominate over the ever increasing coulombic repulsion because of this reason when a nucleus becomes too large usually uh, greater than mass number 210 then those nuclei undergo a radioactive decay process in which they lose some of its mass in the form of an alpha particle thereby decreasing its size and becoming more and more stable so this kind of a spontaneous radioactive decay process which helps a nucleus to become stable by losing some of its mass and decreasing in size is basically manifested in the alpha decay process so in the alpha decay process you have an emission of an alpha particle which takes place spontaneously an alpha particle has a mass number of four and atomic number of two so the parent nuclei when it undergoes alpha decay usually loses four of its nucleons this process is accompanied by a release of energy so this kind of an energy which is released in this kind of a spontaneous process here is written here in the form of Q and this is known as disintegration energy or sometimes also known as the Q value of a reaction so the Q value of the reaction is basically the disintegration energy which is emitted while this kind of a spontaneous nuclear reaction is taking place and the very simplest way of calculating the Q value of a reaction is by looking at the masses of the parent as well as the daughter nuclei. So what happens in nuclear reactions is that whenever these kind of spontaneous reactions takes place, the amount of energy is basically a manifestation of the mass energy of the participants involved. So whatever difference in masses or the mass defect in this nuclear reaction is basically gets manifested in the form of energy. So when we look at an alpha decay process like this, then you will usually find that the mass of the parent nuclei which is x here is usually greater than the mass of both the daughter nuclei which is mass of y having mass number a minus 4 and z minus 2 and the mass of uh, the alpha particle. So the difference in the masses of the parent nuclei minus the both the two daughter nuclei usually gets manifested as the disintegration energy of this kind of a system which is also known as Q value of the reaction. So basically the mass of the parent nuclei minus the mass of the daughter nuclei and alpha particle is basically the mass defect. Mass defect multiplied by C square gives you the total amount of energy. Now this there is another way of calculating this disintegration energy if you do not want to multiply by C square. So if you write the masses in terms of atomic units and you want the energy in terms of electron volts then Instead of multiplying by C square, you can simply multiply by 931.5 mega electron volts. So this will give you the energy in terms of electron volts. Now what happens to this kind of an energy? How is this energy expressed in a nuclear reaction? This energy is usually given off in the form of kinetic energy of the alpha particle as well as the kinetic energy of the daughter nuclei. But how much of this amount of Q value or this amount of disintegration energy is given off as kinetic energy of an alpha particle? We can calculate that by looking at the kinematics of this kind of a particular reaction. So let's suppose before the decay process takes place, particle is at rest and after the decay process takes place, the alpha particle is emitted from the nucleus, then the daughter nuclei will also experience a little bit of a reaction force. So we can apply the known conservation laws in this kind of a case. So first of all, we can apply the conservation of linear momentum. In conservation of linear momentum, because only two particles are involved here, the momentum of both these two particles will be exactly equal and opposite. So let's suppose the mass of the daughter nucleus is m and the mass of the alpha particle is m alpha. And let's suppose the velocity of the daughter nuclei is v and the velocity of the alpha particle is v alpha. In that case, the momentum of the daughter nuclei will be exactly equal to the momentum of the alpha particle, which is this right so let's suppose this is point number one again we can also apply the conservation of energy principle so in this kind of a case we can say that whatever amount of energy is released in the nuclear reaction goes off in the form of kinetic energy of these two daughter nuclei as well as the alpha particles so here the Q value of the reaction which we can calculate by looking at the mass defect of this nuclear reaction basically goes off as kinetic energy of the alpha particle which is m alpha v alpha square plus the kinetic energy of the daughter nuclei which is m v 
square right this is the total amount of energy here we can use a point number one let's suppose this is point number two we can use point number one to remove the second term so this can be written as half m alpha v alpha square plus here uh, in point number one we can say that m square v square is equal to m alpha square v alpha square right so i can use this expression here in this particular second term so here i can write m square v square upon m so here i can use point number one so half of m alpha v alpha square plus half of so m square v square can be replaced with m alpha square v alpha square from point number one so m alpha square v alpha square divided by m here i can take this term out so i can write half m alpha v alpha square one plus m alpha upon m okay so this term that i've taken out is nothing but the kinetic energy of the alpha particle so this is kinetic energy of the alpha particle and here this is m and m plus m alpha in the numerator so this is nothing but the q value of the nuclear reaction so this i can now write as the kinetic energy of the alpha particle is basically equal to m upon if i take this to the left hand side m plus m alpha multiplied by the q value of the nuclear reaction now the ratio of the masses can be written as a ratio of the mass number because the mass number is the total number of nucleons present inside the nucleus and since the neutrons and protons have almost almost approximately equal masses so the ratio of these mass num masses can be written as a ratio of the mass number so what is m here m is nothing but the mass of the daughter nucleus and the mass number of the daughter nucleus is a minus 4 so i can write here as this as a minus 4 what is again m m is nothing but a minus 4 and what is m alpha m alpha is 4 here the mass number of the alpha particle multiplied by the q value so 4 and 4 gets cancelled out and you're finally getting the expression of the kinetic energy of the alpha particle is basically equal to the mass number a minus 4 divided by a multiplied by the q value all right so this is your final expression for the total amount of kinetic energy carried off by the alpha particle uh, from the available disintegration energy now as it should be obvious from this expression vast majority of the disintegration energy usually goes off as kinetic energy of the alpha particle because we are talking about large size nucleus having mass number a greater than around 210 so in this case i have also uh, taken an example so this is an example of an alpha decay process so uh, the uranium 238 when it undergoes alpha decay process becomes a thorium 234 in this process some amount of energy is usually released and if you do the calculations the total amount of energy released in this specific example usually turns out to be around 5.3 mega electron volts okay so how much of this amount of energy goes off as kinetic energy of the alpha particle we can simply calculate it from this particular expression so just to give you an idea so the kinetic energy of the alpha particle in this particular example so a minus 4 is nothing but 234 in this case all right and a here is the mass number of the parent nuclei which is 238 this multiplied by the disintegration energy this usually comes out to be around 98.3 percent of the q value so 98 percent of the total amount of energy released in this process goes off as kinetic energy of the alpha particle so in this case 98.3 percent of q value is approximately 5.2 mega electron volt so usually in the alpha decay process majority of the disintegration energy goes off as kinetic energy of the alpha particle so this is all for today's video see you in the next one